let's sit this way so you get the nice view. Uh, he said that I live in a traditional Japanese house and well, he does. Esta es mi casa. No, but this is where I will sleep for the night. So that's just look, it's so pretty. I'm so amazed and he's just like, what? <laughs> Uh, they had, like I said, they had a pond with koi fish. It was like amazing. It's like for, for me that is beyond. But yeah, um, so we woke up and then we went to Hiroshima, like the museum for the atomic bombing. Uh, and this was one of the few places I knew I wanted to visit. I knew since I was going to live in Kurashiki area, I knew it's like eh, close enough to Hiroshima. This is the closest I will be. Uh, and since I am so close, of course, I want to visit this place. That's a very important historical place. And I wanted to see the museum, even though I knew like, yeah, this is probably going to be hard. Um, and... I showed more text really than pictures and some pictures it, it feels wrong you know it's like you know the pictures of dead bodies and very many burnt bodies and children and you know like stories like yeah this mother and this child and uh, da 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 and none survived it's like yeah I'm not just gonna film that and then put it up on YouTube because what, what the fuck yeah no nah. uh, but some stories uh, I, I shared, uh, even if they were horrible, partly, well, I, I don't know, we'll see. I'm actually still unsure whether I will post everything I filmed or not. So we will, have, I mean, you will have seen the shorts already when you listen to this. But um, I don't know yet how to do with uh, them. But uh, some of the things are horrible and hard to read. But that's also the point. I mean, isn't it? Um, I think it's important to understand because walking around there and like one of the hardest things, because first I just looked because they had laid out clothes in like a monitor so you can look through on these clothes through the window and then it hit me that, hey, this uh, sign with all the pictures of the kids it's like it, it's their clothes it's it's because then I realized it wasn't just you know soldier that had died in war and their clothes on display but it was the the children's clothes because I just realized this. I, I I realized that but wait that that shirt is very tiny and those trousers are very tiny and like yeah it really hit me and I was like that, that was it was the first thing that really struck me, like emotion, like, okay, oh, that, that was too, too hard because they weren't involved in the war. Um, I don't know what I was going to say about walking around there in that museum and you read all these uh, stories from different people and, uh, you know, people talk, talk about when the actual, like the bomb hit. And then people, you know, telling stories about how it was, you know, just the time after, just panic and bodies and people looking disfigured and family members desperately trying to find each other um, and often not finding each other, just finding bodies or remnants or siblings saying that my, my older brother, was that really him? Uh, you know, we parted at the house. I went left, he went right last morning and this burnt thing of a body is, is that my brother and just things like it, it's I could never imagine starting a war after you have been there and just seen seen the consequences it's like yeah this is what war leads to not necessarily atomic bombing but it, just the aftermath of everything people dying your loved ones it's just yeah so it was it was very horrible and like after the first room I was like okay are we done now no it was like three more ones um, because it got heavier and heavier and the, the fur further in you got like it got quieter and quieter and people were trying not to cry and after you had gone through all the rooms there's this long corridor and you could kind of sit down and just people were just sitting and trying to um, you know, like seeing 
like this with, with their head in their hands and just being so affected by it all. And had I been by myself, I think I would have sat down and just cried actually. Um, but uh, since we were two, I, I was more able to. Uh, but yeah, and, and it's just so, so sad. So many innocent people that just died. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, so it was, it was very nice to get out of there, in a way. Um, but it was, it, it was a very small, small sum of money to go there. And I understand they need to take payment, you know, because they need to keep it running and stuff and da da. Uh, but uh, for many people, it was free, like for young kids. Or if, if, if you're a group of 20 or more people, it's free. But like I said, it costs nothing. It's like 100 yen or 130 yen. Uh, but I'm I'm really happy that I went because it's such a such an important part of history and now I've actually been there and taken part of like, more of the information and everything about it. Um, but when when you finish with all the I was gonna say bomb related everything was technically, uh, but with all the stories and the remnants and like all these letters from these people. Uh, you could see more like aftermath and after the bombing and we're trying to restore and how a nuclear bomb works and things like that but I just skipped through that uh, it's probably very very interesting and part of me would have liked to stay and read it as well but you know it's just too tired and heavy with all the information because I read I read pretty much every single sign in there um, all the information um, because a picture is just a picture, but when you read, um, oh, one of the worst things, I don't know if I, I posted that short or not. Like I said, I have not yet decided. Uh, yeah, warning. <laughs> I know, skip through, skip one, two minutes if you don't want to hear a horrible story. Skip th forward two minutes. Um, but this mother was searching for her daughter, and in the end, she found her. Uh, kind of by the riverside with a group of other girls and you know, they were badly uh, injured and the daughter said, please give me water, uh, please water, water uh, and the mother is, oh, of course I will, I will go and uh, hurry and I will give, fetch you some water as, as quickly as I can and then when her daughter started to ask for water, the other girls said, oh, me too, please uh, uh, I also need some water and the mother was like, oh yeah, I will go bring water, uh, I'll hurry. And then when she came back, all the girls were dead. And I was like, <laughs> it's like I, I almost start crying now because it's so horrible. You know, she was just gonna go get some water for her, her daughter and then she comes back and they're all dead. It's like, you know, she wasn't with her daughter the last moments and she was gonna go do something to help them and then she just comes back and they're dead. Uh, so that was really one, one of the stories that really got me the worst which I thought was one of the worst ones because uh, I mean I don't know let's move on eh? on a happier note no but um, but like I said I think it's it, it's important because in a way it's with the, the same with the Holocaust like we must remember this it's it cannot die because we must remember this is what actually happens, these are the consequences and this is why we cannot allow this to happen again. Because it, it could have been prevented, they could just not have dropped the bomb, for example, you know. Uh, but, yeah, anyways. Oh, it's kind of hard to move on from that note, but yeah. Uh, then for lunch we went and ate some Okonomiyaki, uh, which is famous in Hiroshima. It's Hiroshima and Osaka, slightly different. In Hiroshima they have noodles in their Okonomiyaki and in Osaka they don't. Um, and But I thought the goemon I ate yesterday was better, uh, but it was still very good. And he was like, oh, this specific place. So it was nice. And then we talked with the lady. Um, she, she asked me if I thought it was good and then she looked at him because I guess she didn't think I spoke Japanese, I guess. Uh, but I said, no, it was very good. It was my first time. Um, and then I said, he, he recommended it. 
he recommended like this particular restaurant and then they talked he's like yeah this is my favorite uh, okonomiyaki restaurant and then I talked a little bit with her said that I'm from Sweden da 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 um, and then I um, went to this place um, and I'm, I'm kind of sad I'm here for such a short time uh, because it would be nice he, he told me that uh, immediately going off track you know me um, but but he said that yesterday he was just looking out the window there was some monkeys walking by and like, monkeys <laughs> as a swede we, we don't randomly have monkeys walking around uh, so that's cool and he said that they had like the babies on their back uh, so i'm not really i'm here for a short time tomorrow it's gonna it's gonna be a stressy day tomorrow um, unfortunately, um, because now here now I, and then I have to leave here not early. I'm probably gonna leave at around three, but earlier than I would have wanted to because I don't wanna arrive back in Kurashki super late because it's gonna be my last time with my host in Kurashki, whom I've been with for two weeks. So I wanna be able to spend some time with her. Uh, but I also want to spend some time here, so you live and you learn. Um, I know how to plan better next time. Um, but yeah, uh, this area is ni nice outside as well. I'll show you tomorrow. Um, but yeah, uh, so I came here and uh, he showed me around the house and uh, we've been singing karaoke uh, this evening, which is nice because I've never done that. Um, and if you know me, you know I am not a karaoke person. I'm way too uh, stiff and stale and tone deaf <laughs> to participate in this um, empty orchestra thing. So, so um, he, he took my karaoke virginity, uh, so to speak. Um, no, but it was, it was very fun. Uh, there were some English songs. Um, so... Uh, yeah, no, but it was it was very nice, uh, and now I'm, I'm I'm a little bit drunk on uh, um wine, like the plum wine, uh, and I'm tired, and it's uh, oh it's too late, but I'm still gonna work out because you know I have a good streak going now with working out, so no excuses, no excuses for working out, go practice, <laughs> go work out, go drink your water, I don't know what your goals are, but do it, no excuses. Uh, no, but it's if can, doing something every day continuously, it's what actually gonna help. So, gotta gotta actually work out today as all days. Um, yeah, and I think that was it. Tomorrow I will maybe see some horses. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully I will see some monkeys, and then I will go and see the kagura. So you will see some snippets from that. If I can film, but I think that should be fine. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, so it's been a very nice day. And uh, this house is very nice. And I had such bad... Vad heter det? Dåligt samvete. I, I felt bad because I forgot the name of my previous host that I that, that you've seen a little bit about. Uh, but his name is Juto. Um, because uh, I realized, oh, it's Juto. I'm so stupid. Um but to my to my very poor defense, Japanese names are hard for me. It's it's not like Sara, Hanna, Emma, Julia. It's 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 harder for me to remember Japanese names, especially if they start with the same uh, letters. Same. Anyways, now I'm just getting off track. Uh, but that was my today day today the day day. And I was gonna, was it was it fun? But I mean, it it was fun. It was interesting. Let's you let's use that word. It was very interesting, and I'm happy I I went because now I know much more about Hiroshima as well, um, and I would definitely recommend going there. Um, yeah. Bye bye.